Christ is mediator of a new covenant, so that by means of his death, those who are called may receive the promise of an eternal inheritance. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, sir. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Jesus, you came in humility to share our lives. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came with good news for all people. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came in love to a world of suffering. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Be near, O Lord, to those who plead before you, and look kindly on those who place their hope in your mercy, that cleansed from the stain of their sin, they may persevere in holy living and be made full heirs of your promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. When Abram prostrated himself, God spoke to him. My covenant with you is this. You are to become the father of a host of nations. No longer shall you be called Abram. Your name shall be Abraham, for I am making you the father of a host of nations. I will render you exceedingly fertile. I will make nations of you. Kings shall stem from you. I will maintain my covenant with you and your descendants after you throughout the ages as an everlasting pact to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. I will give to you and to your descendants after you the land in which you are now staying, the whole land of Canaan as a permanent possession and I will be their God. God also said to Abraham, on your part, you and your descendants after you must keep my covenant throughout the ages. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout their earth, his judgments prevail. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, when he entered into with Abraham and his oath to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. If today you hear his voice, harden 
not your hearts. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever keeps my word will never see death. So the Jews said to him, Now we are sure that you are possessed. Abraham died, as did the prophets. Yet you say, whoever keeps my word will never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham who died? Or the prophets who died? Who do you make yourself out to be? And Jesus answered, If I glorify myself, my glory is worth nothing. But it is my Father who glorifies me, of whom you say, He is our God. You do not know him, but I know him. And if I should say that I do not know him, I would be like you, a liar. But I knew, do know him, and I keep his word. Abraham, your father, rejoiced to see my day. He saw it and was glad. So the Jews said to him, You are not yet fifty years old, and you have seen Abraham? And Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, before Abraham came to be, I am. So they picked up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid and went out of the temple area. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There once was a man who stepped out onto the platform at an American Legion convention. And as he looked over the large crowd, he asked, can anybody tell me who I am? He had lost his memory with no record of his past or his identity. His desperate appeal was, does anybody know who I am? Jesus' identity is one of the themes that today's gospel reading talks about. It is because in this eighth chapter of John's gospel, Jesus claims four major things about himself. First, he claims to be the light of the world in verse 12. Second, he claims that those who accept his teachings are set free, verses 31 through 32. Thirdly, he promises that anyone who keeps his word will never die, verse 51. And fourth, he takes on the divine name, I am, and states that he is older than Abraham, verse 58. In this last claim, he says, before Abraham came to be, I am. And by saying I am, Jesus refers to the proper name of God as Yahweh, which in Hebrew means the same, I am who am. And a pious Jew would never speak this name. Jesus is applying the name of Yahweh to himself. His listeners, the Pharisees, understand what he is trying to say perfectly well, but they do not accept this claim because it is blasphemy its penalty is death by stoning. But for us, it is true that Jesus Christ is God and therefore has the right to promise us to us that whoever keeps his word will never see death. Only God can make such a bold promise and then fulfill it. This statement that never seeing death seems to be very attractive to us because we are doing so much like exercise and eating right, annual checkups, and all that is good in order to avoid hastening our physical death. But Jesus is referring more to death in the spiritual realm than in the body. St. Paul in 2 Corinthians states that we are always caring about the body of the dying of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our body. Therefore, we are not discouraged Rather, our outer self is wasting away. Our inner self is being renewed day by day. 
I'm sure that many of us remember the late St. Pope John Paul II in the last years of his life. His body grew older and frail, but his spirit was so strong. He had kept the words of Christ faithfully so that by his example and his words and his very person communicates God's life to us. Let us keep Jesus' words and be faithful to him because our God is God. Reflect today about the mission that Jesus was given, the mission to give his life in a sacrificial way. Also reflect upon how God wants you to live out this same mission with Christ of sacrificial love and self-giving. You may already be living it wholeheartedly or you may need some new direction. It may be possible that you're already fully immersed in the will of God for your life, but it is also possible that God wants more from your life. He has a plan for you and it's a mission that he has not entrusted to anyone else. It may require that you step out in faith, be courageous and move out of your comfort zone. But whatever the case may be, God has a mission for you and God will never leave you alone. Say yes to this mission with courage and confidence and God will walk with you every step of the way. Let's turn now to God, our Heavenly Father, with our prayers of petition. For Muslims, Christians, and Jews, signs of the fulfillment of God's promise to Abraham, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who walk uprightly, signs of abiding relationship with God, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the land of Canaan, source of both conflict and promise, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the elderly and the sick, signs of trust in God's enduring faithfulness, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, and today we remember Bernardo Dargo, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those silent intentions and prayers that we hold within our hearts. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, in your love for us, you did not spare your own Son, but handed him over for us all. In your continuing love for us, hear these prayers and answer them according to your will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, which will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, Lord, we pray, on these sacrificial offerings, that they may profit our conversion and the salvation of all the world, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. God did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all. With him he has given us all things.
body of Christ. The 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 body of Christ. Let us pray. <clears throat> Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. Be gracious to your people, Lord, we pray, that as from day to day they reject what does not please you, they may be filled instead with delight at your commands. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Be to God.